Hey guys, how are we doing? Today we're going to be taking a look at, if I zoom out a bit more so you can see the full screen, we're going to be taking a look at Lacquer booting up on the Orange Pi PC. Now this week's video is going to be a little short, uh, and to get Lacquer on you have to simply um, use WinDisk32 Manager or Win32 Disk Manager to burn it to the uh, micro SD card and then slot your SD card into the Orange Pi. I say this video is going to be a little short this week. I have been extremely busy with other devices and other things and I've been trying to actually get content more of a range of content loaded on my channel and prepared uh, so that I'm not rushing around trying to do things like this um, which gives you better content and uh, longer videos. So uh, once we've uh, put the micro SD card in we just simply plug it in and I believe we just push the little button on the inside. Now I think this is an experimental build so oh, it works first time, that's cool. For those of you that don't know what LAC is, it's basically based on RetroArc. Uh, the little thing that we've just finally ported over to the pocket chip and ship and uh, it should scroll through the menus a lot quicker and a lot less buggier on this. Uh, but uh, as you can see it boots fairly quickly. Um, I have tried this a few times and a few times it's booted a bit slower so the boot speed can be differential I guess. That's not the word I, I want to use but uh, it can be it can vary. That's the word I was looking for. Once we're in RetroArc though you can see that it's laid out basically uh, lacquer even. It's laid out exactly like RetroArc and uh, everything is based off RetroArc so it should be and uh, we get roughly the same menus that we do on the chip and the pocket chip and none of those buggy menus that we currently have on the chip and pocket chip because we're still working towards getting uh, that running properly but it looks fairly nice and this is what it could look like uh, on the pocket chip and the chip which is a great step forward but it it looks really really good and sadly I don't have any ROM today to test out for you guys but I just wanted to show you what it's like to boot this up and it's a reasonably simple process to get it onto the micro SD card. Next week we're going to take a look at Android running and uh, I'm going to have it hooked up to the internet so we're going to download some uh, Google apps and we're going to check out what this little thing can do via the Android and uh, possibly next week maybe the week after we're going to be taking a look at getting uh, the Minecraft Pi Edition running on this. Now I have had a help from a guy from Russia who kindly emailed me a few weeks ago uh, or two, maybe a couple weeks ago even, asking about uh, Minecraft Pi from the from the pocket chip actually, so Minecraft chip edition uh, because it has the blobs there and the uh, settings there necessary for the Mali 450 which I believe the Orange Pi is still struggling with uh, we can use the Pi edition of chip or the chip edition of Minecraft, whatever, you get what I'm saying, uh, on the Orange Pi. And he has given me a little tutorial which I'm going to have to work through and it's a little bit weird because it's not quite translated to English correctly, uh, but we will check that out and see if that works as well. And that may be next week, that may be the week after, uh, because we're going to have to go through finding an OS, um, a decent OS that supports that. Lubuntu is the first one that comes to mind. But yeah, this is Lacquer, and if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy this video because I didn't show much, then by all means, hit the dislike button. And uh, comment below if you want to see more on this, uh, some gameplay footage, etc, uh, etc. Et but uh, yeah, hopefully over the next few weeks, my channel is going through a little bit of a revamp right now. And it's just a case of getting content, uh, spending a couple of days a week actually just purely recording content, as opposed to recording content on the day that I post. Uh, so that we have stuff ready for you guys and I have stuff ready for you guys and it also takes a little pressure off me because um, I'm not rushing around trying to find something to do it on and I'm more prepared. So if you like this video, as I said, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do so as that really helps me out and I shall see you very soon with another one. Thanks again for watching and I apologise for the fact that it's fairly short and not much has been shown but this will be improved over the coming weeks so stay tuned for more. Cheers!